This is how to use rich text values in Google Apps Script. Specifically, I'm going to be extracting bold text. Now here's the set of data I've already come up with. This is from a Lord of the Rings trading card game from several years ago, but it was really useful to illustrate the point. Now, normally I make a big deal that format should never influence data. Format should come from data, not data from format. Sometimes the data set you receive, you don't have that choice or you need to extract data based on formatting that's already there. In this case, what I want is the bold section out of each of these rows to here. So here I want damage plus one. Here I want southern. Here I want fierce. And here I want archer. That's the output I'm looking for. The bold words here to go here. So let's come into extensions app script. And let's start by just calling the normals that I always want, concsh. So I have the spreadsheet and the sheet. My range, let's just go ahead and deal with this cell specifically to start with. So my range is going to be ss.getRange, row 2, column 2, right there. Of course, I could do this as B2, but when I'm in the app script environment, there's so much more flexibility in actually using the row and columns so we can iterate through. So I always do it that way. Now let's just start by locking out what R itself, what the value is. So it just outputs the entire value. And again, I want this section here. But as we see, when we log the value, it doesn't have any style, any text styles attached to us. It doesn't have this bolded. It's just the value itself. What we can do is use get rich text value. That's what I want. Rich text includes all the rest of the stuff, bold, italics, font size, font face, so Arial versus times versus whatever, right? Now when I run it, all I get is rich text value. It doesn't have anything specifically associated with it in get rich text value. In order to get that, we need to take a few more steps. So first, instead of just R being the range, let's go ahead and set R as the rich text value. And then let's see what happens just so we can see how this whole breakthrough comes down. The interesting thing about rich text values is they're broken up into what are called runs. So every font section, every rich text section is broken up into its own run. So I want to do r.get runs. And that's going to give me the breakdown of this, this range. So this range has two rich text values which makes sense. It has a bold section and a not bold section. And that's what the script is seeing. It's seeing the bold section and the not bold section. So I actually want to put this into an array that I can loop through. So we're going to say let runs equals r dot get runs. And now I can say, now I can put a for loop. I can do for let i it runs. And the way that you get further down, let's do if runs i, so if this section, if this part of that loop dot get text style has to come first, dot is bold. That's what I want. I want the, I, I'm checking to extract bold words. That's what I want. If that is true, then log runs dot get text. You can just put this current one so we can see that this is all the same. See that? 
So loop through all of runs, which we just saw that there's two of them from here. Loop through all the runs. Let's just use this iterator current to keep track of where we are. If the text style of current is bold, then log out the text. Excellent. That's exactly what we want because back here, damage plus one is the bolded section. I can expand this into the entire range. So let's do row two, column two, number of rows four dot get rich text values. Now, in this case, I'm going to need to have two loops, one loop to move through all of these, each row, and another loop to move through each section of the runs of each value. So let's go ahead and pop that higher for let I in R. Comment that one out so we're just dealing with this thing. Runs equals R I dot get runs. Or let J and runs. See that we need these two loops to go through the rows and the sets. Right now, let's just make sure we're looking at the correct set. We can actually delete all of this. Okay, so this is just going to say loop through the entire range, loop through all the rows, get the runs, and log out the text. Ah, where's our problem? R I oh, of course, because it's still creating a two-dimensional array, just like getting values normally. So we just need to look for the first, the first index in the array. There we go. Now what we're logging again is the text of each run. So we have a run here of damage plus one, a run here of everything else, a run here of Southern, a run here of everything else, a run here of the initial part, because here the bolded section is in the middle. So it has one run that goes bear and must be Southern, bear is, then the second run is fierce, then the third run is each time bear overwhelms, etc. But that's actually exactly what we want, because now I can say if runs j dot is dot get textile that's what we need again dot is bold then log out the text so this is just going to tell us the bolded sections exactly like we wanted i'm going to go ahead and export everything right we want all four of those words to come here into keywords so let's declare it out and let's declare that as an array. Now, if it's bold, instead of outputting it, just where we can see it here, I want to push it. So out.push. And I want to push that in an array element so that it outputs correctly down the column. Now it's really simple to say ss.getRange row two, column three, number of rows four, dot set values. That can just be values because we're not exporting rich text. We're just exporting the text of those bold. Run. And there it is, exactly like we want. Damage from Swan, Southern, Fierce, Archer, coming out of the bold sections here. So it was actually really simple. Can we get our comment? We get the rich text values over the range. Then we loop over the entire range. We get the runs of each section in the range. And then looping through the runs, we get the bold text styles and export the text. Now, obviously this could work. Let's just add some extra stuff here. Let's make that italicized. Make this italicized. Oops. 
Okay, so now I'm going to change it to italics rather than bold. And that should be as simple as saying is italic. And it worked exactly, right? So now instead of giving damage plus one Southern Fierce Archer, it returned minion, mount, character, fellowship archery total, which is the italicized sets here. So it's actually really simple working with rich text values. The biggest difference is that rich text values are broken up into runs and you actually have to loop through every section of the run in order to accurately break this apart or build it back together. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped. Please like, subscribe, share, all the normal things. You can connect with me at these addresses below, and I do try to stay up to date and commenting and interacting on the comment section.